Has everyone had a nice time with last three weeks? It's been, it's been pretty yummy, isn't it? I do like it, yeah. Yeah, me too. It's kind of a shame. Like, we don't out. actually need anywhere good. We just need a fucking shitty carpeted room. And in, a, in a weird way, I think we kind of need to have somewhere that isn't good. Yeah. studios in Bermondsey and like the weather was terrible there was that beast from the east I mean you got to think of this room it's like there's like a mirror with one of the walls is just mirrors so like there's just like a sheet of sound coming back off it that's just like it just annihilates you but there's like there's no escape and of course everyone in our band just turns everything up it's so I had to wear ear defenders for the first time um, I mean I didn't have to I just felt that you know I want to hear my grandchildren laugh uh, but we'd go in and just sort of block out the outside world and then kind of reinterpret the ideas that had developed in the studio and through the studio back into a more live natural setting. And actually when you've had three weeks of like sort of painstaking, like accurate anal recording, um, to then just blow off loads of steam just hammering it out playing rock songs in a rehearsal room is actually really fun. <laughs> We had a place in uh, in Oxford, which was our own unique little sweat box. Tiny little room, no windows, carpet on the walls, the usual vibe. You know, I'm always getting told to turn my guitar down, and then I swear Yanis is louder than me, so I turn mine back up. I quite like those things because that's kind of the first thing you do when you form a band, is you sit in a room together and play really loud, and it's nice that those things are still happening, you know. You know, it can be quite a fraught environment in such a little space. It doesn't feel like there's actually any attempt to be like, okay, so this is the vibe of the song. Like, bottled up fucking negative energy is really bad. And I think to be honest and have a bust up and then carry on is, is, is much better. If you can't accept criticism from the very people you make music with, then you're fucked. We've had some really beautiful moments playing together in these rooms, you know, a lot of them lost forever. It could be just me and Yanis playing guitar just later in the evening together and we'll come up with something and that will then go on one of the records and be heard all over the world and always very humbling and, and very exciting to think that those things come from just a small moment in a small room underneath a railway arch. Mm -hmm. 